hi guys uh, in uh, today's tutorial I'm going to discuss about navigation link inbound and outbound plugs let me navigate to the transaction se80 first <clears throat> and then uh, give uh, try to create a new web pro component I'm going to name it as the test underscore nav one okay test navigation let it be the description and in the window name I'm going to give it as window one and in the view name I'm going to give it as view one okay and hit enter local object now you have this the test underscore nav one web pro component getting created okay now what you need to do is expand views expand windows you'll find that there is a view created and there's, there's a layout for that to see the layout just click on the change button okay and if you observe in the window one double click on window one expand window one here you'll find that by default there is a view one which is under window one okay so window one acts like a container inside which you'll find view one okay now go back to view one double click on view one in the root UI element container right click on that and then click on insert element now I'm going to uh, give a page header page one okay which is of type page header okay now this is an element which I'm going to create of the ID page one and of the type page header hit enter okay now you can see this uh, page header being created here there is no uh, text for this so to maintain the text go to the property go to the property tab you'll find a section called title here give the title as page one hit on enter now you can see that there is a page one header text being populated here okay now let's click on save and i'm going to create one more element here insert element and that will be a button okay button one is the id and button is the type of the element which i'm going to insert in this view then you can see that this element got uh, inserted here now we need a text for a button as well so i'm going to go to this uh, text property okay and maintain a uh, text for this button go ahead is the button name and click on save okay now basically this uh, requirement is uh, once you click on go ahead button from page one or view one I'm going to go to a different view okay click on go ahead I need to go to a different view for that I'm going to create one more view right click on views create let it be view two view two enter okay now I have this view click on save you can see view two getting created here okay now I'll do the same procedure repeat the same procedure for this uh, view two right click on root UI element container insert element let it be page 2 and that would be a page header type okay now in the property give the title as page 2 hit enter save this now have you have two views ready for use you have to navigate from page 1 and you have to reach to page 2 that is the requirement okay so for that before we proceed go to window 1 double click on window 1 you can see only one view is under window 1 okay in order to fulfill this requirement we have to embed view 2 inside this window 1 for that drag this view 2 to window 1 you can see window view 2 getting inserted under window 1 okay click on save let's go back to view 1 okay now on click of this go ahead button we have to reach to page 2 that is a requirement so there is a property for this go ahead button okay which is on action click on create you will find that there is an action name which has to be given and outbound plug this is not really mandatory but for our requirement we will give this outbound plug okay now 
for that we have to define an outbound plug here in view one okay let me go ahead and define it as out one two to navigate from v1 to v2 okay click on save okay so this this it will be fired this will be triggered once you click on that button which is there in this view one layout okay so this triggers this outbound plug out one two okay now this has to be received from the view two end for that i'm going to go to inbound plug of view two name it as in one two and accept the out one two okay click on save now you have out one two in uh, as outbound plug in view one and in one two as inbound plug in view two okay now we have to go back to the layout and click on go ahead uh, button and on action event click on create give some action name i'll name it as nav navigate navig12 also navig okay let it be navig and at the outbound plug which we have created for the view1 which is out12 hit enter okay now let me go to this window1 so the next step is to go to the window1 click on save and then you will find that the plugs outbound plug for view 1 and inbound plug for view 2 getting created under view 1 and view 2 respectively okay now what we have to do is we have to create a navigation link between outbound plug and inbound plug for that just drag this uh, outbound plug of view 1 and just drop it in the inbound plug of view 2 okay hit enter now if you expand out one two you will find that there is a navigation link which is getting created okay so navigation link connects this uh, view one and view two using the respective outbound and inbound plugs okay click on save double click on the component activate completely hit enter now i'm going to create a web dimpro application right click on this component create web dimpro application app test enter click on save local object now you can see this web dimpro application section getting created here expand this right click on the application just test this okay you can see this page 1 this is the view 1 Okay, now we are in view one. We have page one and go ahead button. Okay, now we cl click on uh, go ahead button. You got navigated to page two. Okay, so this is about navigation link. Okay, once you uh, create outbound plug that actually is connected to inbound plug of view two using a navigation link. It's like a bridge which connects uh, the two views. Okay, guys. Uh, Thanks for watching this video. If you have any suggestions, uh, let me know. Please do uh, subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thanks a lot.